Welcome to day one of our Advent devotional series. Today we're looking at the question, Nazareth, can anything good come from there? Our reading comes from John 1 verses 43 to 46. The next day, Jesus decided to leave for Galilee. Finding Philip, he said to him, follow me. Philip, like Andrew and Peter, was from the town of Bethsaida. Philip found Nathanael and told him, We found the one Moses wrote about in the law and about whom the prophets also wrote, Jesus of Nazareth, the son of Joseph. Nazareth? Can anything good come from there? Nathanael asked. Come and see, said Philip. Are we set, Yeah, why not? Let's go for it. Take one. One. Well, Christmas is just around the corner. We've got this time coming where we look at this, this baby in a manger and we look at what he means for us today. And I'm wondering, when you come to this time at Christmas, do you try and make Jesus fit this pattern of what you want him to be, this, this baby, this child? Do you want him to be what you want him to be or do you look to see who he is. It's really easy for us to try and squeeze him into a picture of who we want him to be rather than to listen to him and to hear what he says about who he is. And what we're going to do today is look at a bit of John's Gospel where it talks about him meeting his disciples for the first time where he's gathering them together to him. And we see that in John's Gospel in chapter 1 verses 44 to 46 He's meeting with them and he's met with Philip and Philip is ultra excited at who Jesus is. And he goes and tells his friend Nathaniel. These guys are all from Galilee, all from the same region that Jesus comes from. Jesus is from Nazareth. And Nathaniel asks this really big question. Can anything good come from Nazareth? That's where Jesus is from. But the Old Testament doesn't say anything about a messiah, a saviour, this new king coming from Nazareth. It talks about Bethlehem, about this king coming from royal David city, but not Nazareth. This backwater in the northern part of Israel stuck off a trade route and really quite insignificant place. But that's where Jesus grows up. That's where he lives. That's where he becomes an adult and starts his ministry from there. And actually, Jesus of Nazareth is what we hear him called throughout the Gospels. You hear his opponents saying, Jesus of Nazareth, who are you? We actually see Jesus of Nazareth as his his charge put across the top of the cross. Jesus of Nazareth, King of the Jews. But Jesus of Nazareth is also the title used by the angels when the people come to the tomb the day after he rises they see that angel standing there and he says you're looking for Jesus of Nazareth he's not here he's not here and it's also Jesus of Nazareth that Saul meets on that road to Damascus and makes him Paul the Apostle Jesus of Nazareth isn't who we expect him to be. We might expect this saviour to be this king on on this steed coming to rescue us from all the problems of our world. But actually Jesus of Nazareth is very different. And it's pretty awesome the thing that Philip says to Nathaniel. This Philip is the same Philip who later on talks to the Ethiopian uh, official about what he can find in the Old Testament about Jesus and Philip just says come and see the invitation is there to just come and see who Jesus is so this Advent this is the start of our time together looking at who this this child in the manger grows up to be and actually the invitation is there for you today to come and see Jesus of Nazareth